Today we're going to add some GT500 styling to my old 2018 Mustang GT. This is Anderson Composites GT5 hood fitting your 2018 through 2020 EcoBoost or GT Mustang. Obviously it has GT500 styling with a large center vent and it's made of 3K 2x2 twill weave carbon fiber and it's a double sided hood so it's carbon fiber on the outside and carbon fiber on the inside so it weighs in at only 25 pounds. Now it does come with a marine level clear coat on the outside but I do recommend automotive clear coat when installing on the car. This car features an Edelbrock supercharger. The design of the GT5 hood will not only add some extra clearance for the supercharger, a lot of heat to get out as well. Now again, with this kind of a hood because of the weight, we do suggest hood pins for insulation. And while this car does have hood struts on it for the factory hood, we're not gonna use them with our new hood. Now we have to disconnect the windshield washer nozzle. So we're gonna pop off plugs on the hood. We're gonna disconnect the nozzles here. Now we did take the whole hood blanket off so you can see what I'm doing, but all you're really gonna do is pull off the bottom. You can reach up inside, but we can't get the camera in there. Pull back on the little black piece here and separate the nozzle. And we're gonna pop all the little clips off. We're gonna pop the clips off so we can remove our hood struts. Once the hood strut is off, make sure you support the hood. Put the sand on the other side. Okay, now we can actually remove the hood. Start by removing the nut that has the hood strut attached to it. And before we remove the hood, we're gonna pop off our latch as well. Now you want to make sure you have the hood supported. We're going to remove the final nuts. Yeah. Stock hood aside. Okay, now we're going to carefully put our new hood into place here. Make sure you hold your hand underneath the bottom corner so you don't hit your fender. Snug the nuts up just a little bit and we'll check fitment. Our initial adjustment was actually pretty close. We're just gonna slide it out just a hair. Now we only had made two adjustments and we already have the hood fitting pretty, pretty close. I mean, the gaps are really, really tight. It's gonna fit just like the factory hood when we're done and we have the latch installed. Now our gaps are really good, but if you do wanna adjust the fenders, you can. If you loosen this bolt, you do have a little play inside and out if you wanna really get your gaps perfect. Okay, now we're gonna put the latch into place. Now we're gonna check fitment again on the hood here. Okay, it needs to be adjusted. Now you have two options here. You can either put some washers underneath this to shim this down a little bit, or you can adjust the hood latch and loosen it and raise it. I'm gonna put some washers on here and go that direction instead. I've installed a bunch of these hoods over the years. I've actually found that the supplied small little shipping nuts that come with them usually are the perfect spacer for the hood latch itself. Remember, snug, don't over crank it because they are studs in the carbon fiber. I'll try this again.
Now the last step if you're using them is the washer nozzles. Now there are cutouts in the back of the hood, the factory nozzles will transfer over. As far as the hose goes, there is no provisions for the hose on these hoods. So you have to drill holes in it or figure out some other way to actually fasten the hose itself. Now since we're installing this for demonstration purposes, we're obviously not gonna go drill some holes in the hood, but you can figure out how to attach that any way you want. Anderson Composites GT500 gives my old 2018 a real GT500 vibe, and thanks to the Interbrock blower, it's got the power to back up the look as well. Now, like I said, with this hood, you do want to get this clear coated with an automotive clear, especially if you're going to leave it parked outside. But the hood fits really nicely, takes minimal adjustments, so give yourself about an hour to install it, and you'll be back on the road in no time.